Today, we are looking into the historical accuracy of Italy in medieval two taught to war. That is, Sicily, the Papal States and Milan. Not Venice, however, I already covered Venice in an old video. Check out my Venice roleplay campaign, by the way, if you are interested in that. Let's start off covering the most inaccurate faction and probably the reason many of you clicked on this video. Milan. Milan only became a duchy in 1395, but from 1117 onwards, the city elected consuls. In addition to this, Genoa was also fully independent at the time and was never ruled by the Dukes of Milan. The faction is more of a combination of Milan and Genoa. Historically, the devs should have put it under the HRV rule, but I doubt that would have been the best gameplay call. The emphasis is correctly put on merchants and trade, them being one of the few factions starting with a tier 3 merchant. Am I annoyed about this faction making it into the game? Not really. The faction does add some depth to Italy and is an interesting counter for Venice, despite being inaccurate. The Sicilian faction leader is called Roger, based off Roger I of Sicily. Roger is an interesting guy. He was a Norman adventurer who ambitiously conquered Sicily for his own gain through a combination of military prowess and opportunism. That is why in the game he is portrayed with the traits promising attacker and political animal. He established his own county in 1071 and then his son, Roger II, will then form it into a kingdom in 1130. Roger starts the game at 49 years of age, which, which would have been accurate for the year 1080 when the game starts. That was nice to see, I like it when we give them the same age. His wife was a Norman noblewoman named Judith, who does appear in game, but she should be dead. She died in 1076. However, Roger's son, Roger II, does not appear in game. Instead, the game has Simon, who was accurate. Oddly though, Simon was created by uh, Roger's third wife, not his first wife, who appears in game. Confused yet? Oh, don't worry, it's about to get worse. The princess in game is called Matilda. Roger had a daughter named Matilda with both his first and his second wife, so there's two Matildas. His final child in game is Adelisa, who was one of his daughters to his first wife. Overall, this guy had a load of children and it would have been impossible to show them all. Here's a full list though uh, that I got off Wikipedia. The cultural landscape of southern Italy was very diverse at the time, with the Byzantines having only recently lost their Italian territories, and the Muslims being pushed out of Sicily. This is kind of represented in-game, but could have been done much better. For example, Palermo's population is 20% Muslim, but there should be more Orthodox in there. An example of it working in some ways, but then missing out other stuff in other ways. This diversity is also slightly visible in the unit roster, with Muslim archers, for example, being recruited by the Sicilians. The game reflects the Normanness of the faction through the usage of their main unit, the Norman Knights. Normanness? Yeah, I guess it would be British and Britishness. It would be Normanness. Hmm. Huh. Another very interesting addition is the Sword and Buckler Men, available as late units. Those units, similar to the Spanish ones, are a hint towards the later history of the Kingdom of Sicily, when it became incorporated into the Kingdom of Aragon in 1282. It's quite an in-depth touch, I like it. The Milanese royal family. The faction leader is Duke Giorgio Rossi. Based off Giorgio Rossi, the retired amateur track cyclist, born in 1941, who won a... Wait a minute. Nah, wrong one, wrong one, that's someone else. <laughs> Jokes aside, I did my research but could not find anything about the Milanese family. And even uh, Chapley One, who helped with some of the research, uh, thank you to him on Discord, he also couldn't find anything about this family as well. So I think it's safe to assume that it is fiction. In battle, the game emphasises the Italian's famous proficiency with the crossbar, especially with the Genoese crossbowmen that served as mercenaries through Europe. 
They also have the mounted crossbowmen, which uh, seems like a historical fantasy, but actually crossbowmen on horseback are attested in Spain and Italy from the 13th century onwards. So the game's depiction is accurate. The last unit, Famiglia Ducale, uh, just means ducal family, and just seems to be like a basic bodyguard, I guess. Last but not least, the royal family of the Papal States. This should be quick. Pope Gregory is in charge. Uh, he is based off Pope Gregory VII, who ruled from 1073 to 1085. He played a big part in the investiture controversy, where he excommunicated the Holy Roman Emperor, Henry IV, three times over. He was the first Pope in centuries to enforce celibacy, and lastly, he was from Lombardy. The city of Rome is accurate. It has stone walls to represent the Aurelian and Leonine walls. It has an abbey, surely to represent St. Peter's Basilica. And it has paved roads. The only settlement on the map to have them at the start of the game. Uh, this is done to reflect the remnants of the old Roman roads that branched out in all directions from the capital. The Papal State's unique unit, the Papal Guard and Swiss Guard, are accurately shown in-game, although the Swiss Guard was founded in 1506, so little after the game's end date. But it is accurate enough to keep me happy. Last but not least, the geography. After looking at the terrain, I can say it, it feels accurate. It would often be difficult for Italians to traverse through the centre, uh, due to the mountains, and so often Italians would find that the cheapest route and the quickest route would be to get a ship and sail it all the way around southern Italy, just to avoid crossing the mountains. This is not perfectly portrayed in the game due to engine limitations, but the devs certainly have taken the difficulty of the terrain into consideration when designing the peninsula. And that, I believe, is everything. Overall, there's a lot of depth here, especially considering the vast amount of inaccuracies for Milan. Overall, I will give the, the devs the benefit of the doubt with Milan and say 2.5 stars out of 5, as some research has clearly been done, especially with the units, but it did not exist, so I cannot go at any higher than that. I'm not going to be annoyed at Milan being in the game, uh, sometimes the devs have to make historical inaccuracies for gameplay, and I like it when they do the risk and do that. So yeah, I would have done the same if I was the devs. Sicily, I would say 4 stars out of 5. Very accurate family, but a few mistakes were clear. The Papal States, however, was very impressive. Usually 5 star ratings are only used when I believe there's very, very few things the devs could have added. Luckily for the Papal States, this works in the tiny faction's favour. 5 stars out of 5. Big thank you to Chapley1 for helping with the research and also doing part of the script as well. Uh, big thank you to him with that. I do hope to see you in the next one of these. They are every Saturday and next week we will be looking into the historical accuracy of medieval two total wars faction emblems. Subscribe for more, like if you enjoyed, share with anyone you think may be interested. I've been Melkor, goodbye.